I am Shana Jamdagni and today I am going to tell you about a plant cell. Let's get started. First I will draw the diagram of a plant cell. The first layer that comes is called the cell wall. I'm making that right now. So I've made six sides of myself. So this is the first layer which is known as the cell wall. Next I'm going to have a membrane which is known as the plasma membrane. This layer protects the cell from all the harmful bacteria, the microbes that can enter and it is known as a selectively permeable membrane because it allows the in and out of only selective substances is called plasma membrane the plasma membrane and I forgot to tell you that cell wall uh, it gives the rigidity or a proper shape to our plant cell and then it acts as a protective barrier which uh, helps it to reduce its chances of getting um, getting def uh, deformed or it protects it from um, injuries you can say and in plants the cell wall is made up of cellulose in bacteria it is made up of pectin and in fungi it is made up of chitin so that was the cell wall next I'm going to make the inner cell organelles of a cell and cell organelles are the different uh, parts or different uh, things that are present inside a cell that have their own function and helps in the correct functioning of a cell so first we have a nucleus this is the nucleus The nucleus is known as the brain of the cell because it helps in it because it has stored uh, genetic information in the form of um, genes and the, when the nu and the nucleus is responsible for the the transfer of uh, genes from the parent cell to the daughter cell during cell division and it helps in various other functions as well. The next we have is a large central vacuole. A plant has only one central vacuole. While in, in an animal cell, you will find that there are very small vacuoles. So the function of the vac central vacuole, which takes up most of the space inside the plant cell and it is the it's a fluid filled sac so its function is that it provide it consists of the cell sap that helps in maintaining the osmotic pressure and helps in turgid giving turgidity to plants and turgidity is actually the process by which a plants resist bursting after swelling up when they are put in a hypotonic solution so the, uh, that is the function of the vacuole and it uh, also um, has a covering of uh, it has also membrane covering which is known as tonoplast so the next vac uh, the next um, cell organelle we have is the called the apparatus
These are the Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus helps in the Golgi apparatus was actually named after the scientist who found it, Camillo Golgi. And Golgi apparatus is basically the cell organelle that helps in the packaging, storing and um, packaging and storing of the uh, you know the protein that is formed uh, the protein material uh, Golgi apparatus also required for the formation of lysosomes in a cell so the next organelle is the lysosome lysosome are known as the suicide bags of the cell and basically it consists of digestive juices that uh, that helps in digesting its own cells. That's why it's called the suicide bag of the skull, uh, cell. And they're also the scavengers of the cell because they help in uh, removing the dead and the waste products that is there in the cell. And lysosomes, basically what happens is once the cell gets ruptured or damaged, the lysosomes, they burst up and the digestive enzymes that are present, it's, uh, you know, it eats the whole cell. Now, the next is the cytoplasm. This is the fluid that covers all of the, um, the cell. Cytoplasm. This is basically a fluid that, uh, in which all of these uh, cell organelles are sus present suspended. So, and nucleus, there's also a part which I forgot to mention, which is the in the nucleus, one of the part is nucleolus, which is a round structure that is present in the nucleus, which helps in the synthesis of protein, uh, ribosomes, which in turn form protein for the plant itself. The, the next thing we have is the endoplasmic reticulum. The position of Golgi apparatus because it's actually not near the nucleus, it's a little further because nucleus has the endoplasmic reticulum which is beside it. Is this okay? Uh, now we have the endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum has for the two parts, which is RER and SER, and they both have their different function. Endoplasmic reticulum, which is ER. Now it has two parts, which is RER and SER. RER is rough endoplasmic reticulum, and SER is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And the difference between them is that a uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum has ribosomes attached to its surface that makes it rough while the smooth endoplasmic reticulum it does not happen therefore its surface is smooth and smooth uh, endoplasmic reticulum it helps in the um, the formation of fats and lipids while the rough endoplasmic reticulum because it has ribosomes it helps in the manufacture of proteins and the SER, it is also responsible for removing the toxins from our liver and that is the function of the endoplasmic reticulum. So the next thing we have is a mitochondria. Now, this is a mitochondria which is the powerhouse of the cell. Mitochondria. 
mitochondria zone is the power house of the cell because mitochondria synth uh, has atp which is which is adenosine triphosphate which is which is known as the energy currency of the cell and it helps in the storage of uh, and storage and uh, manufacturing of energy inside a cell and mitochondria is a double membrane bound cell organelle and it uh, and it has uh, it forms the energy that is required to run the cell now after mitochondria we have the next cell organelle which is the chloroplast chloroplast is responsible for giving the uh, the green color to a plant cell because a pl uh, because of, because the plant cell because the chloroplast consists of chlorophyll which is a green pigment and it is also uh, chlorophyll is also responsible for making food for the plant through the process of photosynthesis because it traps the sunlight the chloroplast like i said is a plastid and a plastid has its own dna and ribosomes and thus they are capable of making their own proteins and that uh, uh, that feature is also present in mitochondria as well now the next thing i have is so far i've mentioned the cell organelles in a plant cell which are mitochondria chloroplast the cytoplasm central vacuole the lysosomes golgi apparatus the plasma membrane the endoplasmic reticulum the cell wall and plasma membrane are the outer coverings then we have the nucleus and nucleolus okay so now since i've mentioned nucleolus i would also like to tell two more parts of nucleus which is the nuclear membrane first so now the nuclear membrane it is the covering of the nucleus now nuclear membrane helps to keep the uh, the, the different parts and different uh, the the things that are inside the nucleus separate from the cytoplasm of the cell so the nucleus also has a homogeneous dense fluid that uh, has the suspended chromatin material in the nucleus and this is the nu uh, nucleoplasm now the nucleoplasm uh, it's is the fluid that basically covers the whole nucleus and nucleus also has chromatin material which is the uh, which consists of the uh, the chromosome uh, the hereditary information the genes everything inside present in the nucleus so that chromatin material during cell division gets condensed and turns into chromosomes so these are all the different things that are present inside the nucleus and i have mentioned all the different parts of our cell the and yep that is it then let me check if i mentioned all the different cell organelles mm. yep i have so these were all the different cell organelles and different parts of a plant cell and i hope you learned something new thank you for watching